Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another exciting video for you Galaxy users. After spending some time testing and tweaking with the settings, I found out two easy steps to improve mobile gaming FPS performance by 20%. And I promise you it's not clickbait. So as you can see, here I have the S22 Ultra that is equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. And with that being said, first, you want to go to the Play Store and download Samson Game Driver. You'll select Adreno for the Snapdragon chipsets and Mali for the Exynos chipset. And as you can see, this app or driver enhances gaming performance and works for many Galaxy devices. Now for this last step, you want to install the Game Booster Plus plugin directly from the pre-installed Game Booster app that comes with every Galaxy device. Again, directly from the app and not the Play Store. Anyways, make sure to max out graphics and FPS settings in this plugin. Now with this being said, let's pull up Genshin Impact and perform another FPS performance test. And just for reference, if you look at my previous Genshin Impact FPS test with this S22 Ultra, you can see I averaged 33 frames per second after 15 minutes of testing. So let's see how big of a gap there is in performance with these plugins. Nevertheless, as usual, I will show real-time FPS during gameplay and then discuss a detailed analysis with charts and data of FPS, GPU, and power consumption averages. So see you at the end of this video.
here.
Now before we talk about the FPS, let's quickly look at these thermals. This device is peaking at 44 Celsius, which is very hot, but again, unlike the iPhone 13 Pro Max, this device is a vapor cooling chamber, therefore distributes the heat a lot better. This phone definitely doesn't feel extremely hot and actually still very comfortable. Now moving on to the FPS, I averaged 40 FPS compared to the 33 frames per second I averaged in my last test without any of these drivers and plugins. 
and this is amazing. Performance improved about 20% in FPS average. And if you follow this channel, you'll notice I did the same thing with the S21 Ultra last year and experienced the same increase with my S21 Ultra device. Anyways, 40 FPS is a big jump from 33 frames per second. Now quickly moving on to GPU, in this new test, the S22 Ultra used 89% of its GPU, while in my last test, this device only used 87%. Therefore, this jump in performance doesn't seem to additionally add stress to this chipset, which is more good news. So last, as for power consumption, this device used 5.4 watts of power compared to 5 watts. So again, this is impressive, as this major jump in performance isn't stressing the device much. With all of this being said, as you can see, performance has definitely improved. I tried this with other games like PUBG New State and also experienced improved FPS. I do wish Samsung natively installed these drivers and plugins to each of their devices since many may not see this video and suffer with inferior game performance. I definitely encourage sharing this to all your friends who own or thinking about owning a Galaxy device. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this was informative and helpful. Please stay tuned for my camera tests, stay safe, and see you all next time.